I welcome all of you on platform of Europedia and this is the largest and the best platform if you are planning to prepare for any interview, any organization. One of the unique feature of Europedia is that whatever interview you come across, whatever interview you are going for, you can get a document from the mentors of Europedia. So my this video is related to the uh, interviews of uh, administrative officers, finance officers, engineers you know in United India uh, insurance company and uh, uh, similarly you know New India assurance company and United India insurance company uh, there are interviews going on for administrative officers and all. So whenever you go for interview uh, you need to know about that organization and the main work uh, this organization is doing and what are the various products of that organization and some government policies related to that organization and some nitty gritties terminologies related to that organization. You can download this document from Europedia.in website uh, in the download menu. If you see there you will find this United India insurance company uh, that uh, document and you can read it. I will just um, uh, provide you the brief of what is there in this particular document and when we prepare this document our reference largely is the website of that organization like United India website and the related websites like Ministry of Finance uh, website, IRDA, Insurance Regulatory uh, Authority uh, website and then some other companies, Wikipedia, we are using even ChatGPT and uh, BARD. So these are the some source of information and mentors put the most relevant information here for you. Uh, some questions like uh, you know why you want to join this organization, the answers of those questions can come only if you go through uh, you know in detail of particular organization. So United India Insurance this particular part is taken from the website directly. So when a company was incorporated, so the birth of this company was in 1938 uh, but you know then this general insurance business in India was nationalized in the year 1972. So these two uh, you know informations are important nationalized kab hua and when was it born. So then there were at that time 12 Indian insurance companies, cooperative insurance companies, societies and foreign insurers all these uh, together uh, formed the you know United India insurance company. So these all were merged together and formed United India insurance company. So how United India insurance as a company uh, came up that is a small brief history of this. Uh, presently you know there are so many policy holders 1.7 crore policy holders but as you know in India the population is 150 crore so as of now 150 crore only is a insurer but uh, only presently insurer are uh, 1.7 crore in United India other companies will also be there we want by 2047 that everybody should be insured something like that so that is a some kind of uh, objective or goal of ministries and uh, organizations like RDA so those uh, uh, goals are uh, objectives are also kept. So what are the different uh, customers of United India insurance and what are the different products of United India insurance that also we should be aware. So you can see there are among couple of uh, uh, you know customers uh, of United India insurance other than individual customer like me and you. Uh, there are customers, uh, corporate customers like ONGC, GMR, Hyderabad International Airport, Mumbai International Airport, you know these are the big uh, corporates, uh, big organizations which are the customers and uh, also you know there are other some uh, uh, organizations which are the uh, customers of United India Insurance. So uh, it leads to the uh, implementation of Universal Health Insurance Program of Government of India. Uh, Vijay Raji Janani Kalyan Yojana, it is covering uh, so many women in Madhya Pradesh, Tsunami Jan Bhima Yojana. So uh, you know whenever uh, some government is coming out with some scheme, so these companies also provide the insurance coverage to majority of masses, majority of people like ye jo hai aapka, uh, Janani Kalyan Yojana, uh, ye, uh, 45 lakh women ko Madhya Pradesh ke andar. So that is how I mean this big uh, this you know uh, coverage insurance coverage is provided. What is uh, United India? It is a leading journal insurance company. So journal insurance kya hota hai? There is a life insurance and then there is a journal insurance. So this term of journal insurance you should be aware. Uh, this is non-life insurance. So there is a journal insurance and then there is a life insur insurance. You must be knowing there is something which is called LIC life insurance 
uh, related company you know big public sector and this is united india is journal insurance company and uh, as i told you merger of so many companies gave birth to journal insurance company and where is the headquarter of this journal insurance company that is in chennai so chennai is the headquarter and uh, what is the corporate mission to provide insurance protection to everyone to ensure customer uh, ensure customer satisfaction and uh, work on the sound business principles these are some of the you know principles on which this company works so what are our visions what are our missions uh, united india the vision is most preferred insurer in india with global footprint so vision mission sometimes is asked in the uh, interview itself and from vision and mission you get to know how you want to answer the question of why you want to be part of this organization so uh, united india wants to become brand a trusted brand uh, for all the stakeholders best in class customer service uh, using the technology so many of you who are from engineering background they want to join these companies you should know i'll just uh, share with you how uh, professional like engineering professional can contribute into the use of technology uh, in today's uh, time uh, such as you know emerging technologies like artificial intelligence machine learning data science to uh, reach to masses and provide good service so it is a great uh, place to work for people and uh, uh, you know uh, contribute to the society and what is the mission is uh, insurance for all ensure uh, ensure the customer satisfaction so you should uh, be very very clear what this organization wants to do and uh, minimize the waste and develop the indian economy so it has healthy you know uh, objective so why you want to be part of united india sir insurance sector in india is going to boom going to grow and uh, i see lot of uh, use of technology if you are from engineering background lot of use of technology in coming days uh, to basically uh, provide insurance coverage to everyone and eventually it is leading to uh, the economic growth of the country so i want to be part of such organization with such holistic objective now what are the various products so motor insurance health insurance you should have not in depth but you should have a little bit idea about uh, what are the various products on which insurance is done i told you airport also uh, insurance of airport also is done and uh, there are certain names which you should be aware i'll cover that later on bharat griha raksha yojana so motor insurance shopkeeper insurance household insurance personal accident insurance health insurance mein detail mein kya hai uh, overseas medi claim policy uh, bharat griha raksha yojana so fire se related hai so uh, in case of the fire what kind of insurance is done so kis kis tarah ki insurance hoti hai what kind of insurance is there and many times they will ask you like are you aware that motor aapke paas bike hai aap motor chalate ho motorcycle chalate ho car chalate ho aapne kabhi insurance karwaya hai kaun si company ka insurance karwate hain premium kya hota hai those kind of questions normally are asked now there is something which is called an organized worker social security act so to provide the social security to the unorganized sector workers this act was created and uh, there were some welfare schemes which were created for this and uh, the welfare schemes were like health and maternity benefit old age protection life and disability cover so uh, you know in india majority of the people are working in unorganized sector organized sector is something which comes under the fold of uh, various policies acts and you know the workers are insured and all but uh, for unorganized sector these things are not there so for unorganized sector uh, you know insurance coverage is to be provided for that government came out with the social security act so they may ask you that uh, are you aware about the social security act for unorganized sector worker pradhan mantri suraksha bima yojana ye bahut zyada famous hai aur ye converged yojana hai couple of policies converged together were formed into this and many interviews where this is asked so jeevan jyoti bima yojana and pradhan mantri suraksha bima yojana so uh, eventually uh, this uh, life and disability cover is provided through these two uh, 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 policies to unorganized worker uh, ministry of labor and employment is the implementing ministry and uh, many policies were converged into this so pradhan mantri jeevan jyoti bima yojana pradhan mantri suraksha bima yojana uh, together they are called converged pradhan mantri suraksha bima yojana so uh, these policies together since 2017 to provide the life and disability coverage to unorganized workers so uh, i am not saying that uh, life insurance is provided by united india but i am saying what are the policies which you should be aware so 
<coughs> it provides coverage of 2 lakh rupees on death, death and the premier, uh, premium is 330 rupees per annum. So that means if you are from age 18 to 50 years per annum you have to give 330 rupees and in case of death 2 lakh rupees will be given to uh, your family members. That is the meaning of it. So premium is how much you are giving annually or monthly or quarterly. Uh, from your income and then in case of death disability or something how much money will be given to you so this little bit information you should be aware uh, and these converged schemes are being implemented by life insurance lic not gic but lic but question can be asked because they all are related terms so question can be asked and you should understand what is the meaning of premium pradhan mantri shram yogi man dhan yogi man dhan yojana so old age protection uh, in the form of monthly pension. So Ministry of Labor and Employment has launched this Yojana and it is voluntarily contributing a pension scheme for providing monthly minimum pension of 3000 rupees once you are age of 60 years. So unorganized worker ke liye hai ye, 18, 18 to 40 years of age, uh, your monthly income is you know uh, less than 15,000 and you are not member of EPFO or all these government funded schemes, then you can join these kind of uh, policies. So that is also important. 50% uh, monthly contribution is to be paid by you and then matching contribution is to be paid by central government. And uh, this is also very, very important Pradhan Mantri Shram Yogi Mandhan Yojana. So are you aware about some of the policies of the government which are for unorganized sector worker? That kind of question can be asked. Uh, national database of, of unorganized worker is to be made. So, so if suppose they ask as a computer engineer why you want to join this uh, United India Insurance Company or for that matter LIC or for that matter uh, New India Assurance Company, why you want to join this? Answer can be sir, it is all technology nowadays. I mean data science is to be used, data analytics is to be used for proper identification of the beneficiaries and providing the policies and schemes to them. So national database is to be created for unorganized sector vector, uh, uh, these workers and it is to be seeded with Aadhaar and uh, you know that will help these particular people. So Pradhan Mantri Fasal Bhima Yojana, now what is the meaning of this is uh, Pradhan Mantri Fasal Bhima Yojana was launched in 2016 by Prime Minister and uh, it was formulated in line with one nation one scheme theme and earlier there were two schemes agricultural insurance scheme and modified national agriculture insurance scheme so both these were merged together and Pradhan Mantri Fasal Bhima Yojana was created and uh, it uh, premium burden was reduced on the farmers and comprehensive insurance coverage was given to the farmers in case of failure of crop so that was to stabilize the income of the farmers that was also important scheme. Then Pradhan Mantri Suraksha Bhima Yojana. Uh, so as I told you, uh, you give the premium, annual premium 20 rupees only you have to give and uh, you should have bank account and uh, GST will not be applicable on this. In case of death or uh, full disability, you will get 2 lakh rupees per, and partial disability rupee 1 lakh will be given to you. So uh, Pradhan Mantri Jan Dhan Yojana was nothing but like you know uh, uh, your bank accounts will be linked to all these uh, schemes and you will be provided uh, the benefit uh, of the government schemes. Bharat Griha Raksha Yojana, home uh, building uh, you know and the content inside or the things inside uh, in case you know uh, there is a expected uh, there is unexpected some kind of loss. Uh, so it is related to your home protection. So from different uh, kind of uh, uh, you know damages or different kind of uh, uh, devastations. So this is uh, your home uh, basically protection, home insurance. Sometimes we will ask you who is the CMD of particular company. So Satyajit Tripathi ji is the uh, you know CMD of United India Insurance. And when he joined it and what is his qualification, those kind of questions are sometimes asked. And if you see uh, health insurance segment, uh, the target is to IRDA that is insurance regulatory uh, body in India, insurance by all by year 2047. That question can be asked that what is the target we have kept for insurance of all. So innovation, development, large scale growth in online of the business. So that is how it is uh, basically going to attain. Uh, company performance uh, of uh, uh, you know United India Insurance. What is the performance is uh, from pandemic impact and uh, you know economic upsurge. I mean uh, year 22, 23 saw that pandemic is over now and lot of economic activities are coming up. 
so uh, this sector also is booming this sector also is doing very good and a uh, lot of people want to go for it now so uh, 2.5 lakh crore premium income is there in this particular year premium is whosoever will give you monthly or annually so that is the income flow and industry grew by 16 percent so health line of the business uh, contributes to 35 percent of the industry turnover so industry growth is a 16 percent but later on i will tell you that there's a loss uh, making company so uh, that also figure you should be aware so uh, growth is there i mean um, uh, this particular crore is registered and growth of 12.23 percent compared to the previous year but previous year also may be in the losses that is something which you should know and uh, there are two uh, large state health insurance schemes of Tamil Nadu and Maharashtra are also being covered by United India Insurance. And uh, some more information is uh, there. I think you can go for this information. Uh, this company also wants to go for digitalization and centralization of many of its activities. Now, this statistics or data, if you see, so premium is growing like 20. 21, 22 premium was only this much and then 22, 23 we have seen that premium has gone up. So compared to previous year, no doubt there is a growth. But if you see the profit situation, then it is not in profit, it is in losses. So past many years, United India Insurance is in losses. So that is something which you should know. So they may ask you like, why you want to become part of a loss making company? And your answer, especially if you are from finance or chartered accountancy or finance background, then your answer should be like, uh, sir, I know that this company has a strong fundamentals. It is uh, having a strong uh, its uh, um, work functions and uh, uh, vision mission is very uh, strong of this company. And this company is uh, uh, going to make profits uh, in future because uh, this sector is growing. This sector is booming. Technology is to be uh, and technology enabled services are to be provided. And maybe because of the past, people were not much aware about the benefits of this. But now, this sector is going to grow and I'm very sure it is going to uh, be in profit in the green. So, as of now, it is in losses. That is what you should know, right? Uh, net worth, uh, you should know the, what is the net worth of this company and all those kind of in rupees, crores of rupees. And net worth goes in negative if your liabilities are more than your asset. Uh, okay, so uh, some more news uh, related to this company in 2023, new products were launched that you should know and uh, Volvo Health Insurance ke saath tie up hua, uh, third party, so these are digitalization of the operations, now every company is going for digitalization of the operations, expansion and financial inclusion, so financial inclusion kya hota hai, like bring more and more people into the financial services of uh, you know, the nation like they should get insurance they should have bank account they should have you know digitalization of their own uh, services financial services so sare ke sara financial inclusion hai digitalization of operations ka matlab kya hai apne operations ko digitalize karna iska matlab kya hai you should have customer relation management system so that is a system which will provide the centralized platform uh, you should develop user friendly online portal and mobile app, app. Uh, you should automate your insurance processes you should leverage the artificial intelligence and machine learning how we can leverage that you should also be knowing that so like that it can be very very helpful in risk management and decision making so how we can use this emerging technologies cloud computing we should use for making it more efficient uh, cyber security may we should invest we should have culture of digital innovation so cyber security how it can be used in insurance company so protecting customers data safeguarding insurance operations preventing the cyber attacks enhancing the risk management protecting intellectual property these are some of the ways in which you can do that and some more points related to how you can make use of cyber security so read this entire document and uh, i'm very sure you will get some idea from this what is the meaning of financial inclusion is that everyone including individual and businesses should basically uh, have uh, appropriate financial product and services with them they should have bank account loans they should take insurance payment system all these things financial inclusion is important because it helps people to grow economically and eventually it has impact on their uh, quality of life uh, sometimes we will ask you that do you know some another insurance companies related to life insurance so private companies and uh, you know government companies you should be aware which are the companies uh, related to life insurance and which are the companies related to journal insurance so you should be knowing about that which are the private which are the 
government you should be aware about that and you know there are so many advertisements keep on coming in different platforms you should always be visible you should always be basically you should see that what advertisement is coming of which uh, organization some terminologies like what is the premium and what is the purpose of premium it is the amount of money which policy holder suppose i have taken policy i'll pay to insurance company and i'll get the insurance coverage that is how it is done it can be monthly quarterly annually as i told you it can be anything purpose kya hota hai that i cannot give you entire money in one go so i give you in the premium what are the factors which are affecting premiums so these are the factors and uh, how uh, the premium is calculated that also uh, you should be little aware पेमेंट ऑप्शन क्या होता है प्रीमियम का मंथली दे सकते हो क्वार्टरली दे सकते हो इलेक्ट्रॉनिक पेमेंट हो सकता है एंड देन देर आर सम टर्म्स विच आर रिलेटेड टू इंश्योरेंस यू शुड बी अवेयर लाइक पॉलिसी पॉलिसी होल्डर इंश्योर्ड इंश्योरर प्रीमियम कवरेज को इंश्योरेंस बेनिफिट सो ऑल दिस टर्म्स यू शुड बी अवेयर कितनी तरह की इंश्योरेंस होती है एज ए टोल्ड यू लाइफ इंश्योरेंस हेल्थ इंश्योरेंस प्रॉपर्टी इंश्योरेंस लाइबिलिटी ऑटो इंश्योरेंस एंड देन सम अदर टर्म्स यू शुड बी अवेयर विच आर रिलेटेड टू इंश्योरेंस why to join united india insurance company that is a very very commonly asked interview question to you so why you want to join our company united india insurance how to answer this question sir it is a reputed uh, company it is a brand and uh, diverse career opportunities are provided and learning and development is very good competitive compensation compensation is there benefits are there contribution to society is there dynamic work environment is there growth and advanced uh, advancement potentials is there job security work life balance these things are to be told at the end normally the mistake student do is they start telling these things in the beginning so there is a job security and then there is a work life balance that should be the main thing that is not the main thing main thing the profile of the company reputation of the company brand uh, which people trust and uh, the opportunity to learn they are the main things and then at the end this will come एंड स्कोप क्या है इसके ग्रोथ का यस इट इज गोइंग टू ग्रो सो इवन इफ इट इज अ लॉस मेकिंग वाई वॉन्ट टू बी पार्ट ऑफ इट बिकॉज देर इज अ ट्रमेंडस ट्रमेंडस स्कोप टू ग्रो एंड दीज कैन ऑफ डेटाज यू कैन रेफर दैट इज इट इज गोइंग टू बिकम अ बिग साइज इंडिया इज गोइंग टू बी थर्ड बिगेस्ट इकोनॉमी सून सो इट इज गोइंग टू हैव अ बिग अपॉर्चुनिटी so this is the reason why it is grow going to grow rising disposable income expanding middle class government initiatives digitalizations untapped potentials for these reasons it is going to grow in future that is the reason so what do you understand by term insurance term insurance is uh, you know coverage of specific period of time uh, that is called a term and uh, it is the simplest form of the life insurance so pure life fixed premium coverage of low cost these are the some key features of Uh, term insurance you must have seen the advertisement of kapil sharma and uh, akshay kumar for uh, you know some companies uh, term insurance right policy bazaar mein term insurance ka wo ad aata hai so term insurance is like for particular duration you have to uh, basically uh, provide the life coverage right so bahut kam premium ke upar aap apni life ko insure kar sakte hain uh, who should consider the term insurance जो जिनके ऊपर फाइनेंशियल रिस्पॉन्सिबिलिटी है कि अगर उनको कुछ हो जाए देन हु विल टेक केयर ऑफ द फैमिली नॉर्मली दे शुड गो फॉर टर्म इंश्योरेंस दे शुड प्रायोरिटाइज दिस काइंड ऑफ थिंग्स हेल्थ एंड लाइफ इंश्योरेंस में डिफरेंस क्या है इट कवर्स योर हेल्थ एंड इट कवर्स योर लाइफ दैट इज द मीनिंग ऑफ इट सो मेडिकल जो खर्चे हैं हॉस्पिटल्स के वो सारे लाइफ इस हेल्थ इंश्योरेंस में है इन केस ऑफ डेथ देर इज अ लाइफ इंश्योरेंस एंड इन केस ऑफ health and your sickness these are the insurance covers given so this is a 20 page document of united india insurance friend please go through it if you are going for the interview of united india you should surely go through this document and prepare well for your interview and for hr technical snaps and mock interviews please join europedia will mentor you very well for this thank you